Alright, this is a quick update on the Dr. Stifler work that I've been doing. And uh, basically, this is what I'm showing mostly, and this is a Gina's light. I'll show the circuit on the screen now. And also a scope trace now. And as you can see by that scope trace, uh, we're running at far too low frequency, about 40 kilohertz was it. But it does allow to uh, try out some things. I mean, for a start, that's really on quite nicely. It's an 8 watt LED bulb from uh, Dollar Tree, and uh, it's kicked in quite nicely, really. I mean, considering we're running on 1 hour volts on an AA, um, we've, we've got things like this uh, LED that's running here. And I've got in the middle, well, it's a Pentium 2 with heatsink um, PC processor, but I'm using that as a sort of hub to send things off, like off to that circuit, off to that one, that one, this one. And that comes off just one of the outputs of the coil there. And uh, the coil, it, I haven't wound it this time around, this is from years ago, and it's got about, I think, 250 turns on the secondary there. And then you've got the normal um, cuts, I think it's uh, three um, as we turn to the base, and I think it's nine on the other. Anyway, point being, um, there's a wire, AV plug, LED, and if I touch like to the end, say, you get that light coming on, that end of the battery, this end of the battery, the light comes on, and there's quite a few different places, um, which, well, like all the way down this, this wire here, all the way down, we can get a wireless output. Right, I've just attached a clip lead to the emitter of this transistor which is a C5198 in this case and then what that allows is a bit more action over this way so if I now take this uh, AV plug and tap it onto the heat sink bear in mind all we're doing here is we're going from this central hub where things are connected up to from one output over there of the coil so now we get a really good feed here of, this, of and that also that circuit comes on there when I do tap as well which is quite interesting um, going into the wire then this LED will also come on but it's not very bright at all and in fact I can take it all over the place actually and there is some output not very much it's much much more if I do actually touch the uh, the circuit but we do get little bits here and there I'll say straight on the thing itself there and this thing is really quite blindingly bright but um, yeah I just thought that might have been of interest and the other thing was these circuits. Now this is the culpits that uh, Gula posted on overunity.com. I've been building that up, it doesn't work quite right uh, so far, but the idea is to make it look a little like uh, Dr. Stifler's SEC circuits and try and get a system going that can run at 14 MHz, 13 and a half megahertz, somewhere like that. Which brings me on to this one, which is which does work. Uh, I have posted the scope trace for it. Um, this one does work, but of course we haven't got an output of 20 volts. Um, all we've got is, that, well, the 5 volts being switched that uh, is the input on, on there. So unfortunately that one's not really working out. This is more the direction with the culpits I'm trying to go for to get the right frequency, the right output, make it more like the signal generator kind of thing and also be tunable. So uh, anyway, so that's just the update really there and uh, hopefully there's something of use and thanks for watching.